In this video, I want to talk about the 15-year-old boy that was with Summer Wells at the swimming hole the day she went missing. I listened to his interview over and over again, and honestly, it seems like his story is a lot more flowing and truthful to me than Grandis, Candace, and Don. Hunter has been interviewed at least three times by the authorities, and I believe he has his phone back too. I'm wondering if they deem him a credible witness since Leslie Earhart says Summer was last seen early afternoon, and that would place the time when Hunter was dropped off. Brandis, Candace, and Don have a lot of the same statements, which is like a script. In my opinion, they have discussed the script many times, and that's why it's the same. I will deal with the statement that both Grandis and Candace made, which was exactly the same, and really stood out to me in another video. For now, back to Hunter. Chris McDonough said he believes Hunter was 80% honest, and 20% was embellishments. He is young, does he really have the ability to stick with one story and lie, like an experienced criminal? Ask yourself that. I can agree with Chris McDonough. Hunter's version makes a lot of sense, but what does that mean in the bigger sense of things? He spoke about Andy, which was concerning to me all along, but even more so now, after Jody Sue came out with the most horrible allegations against Andy and kids on 110 Ben Hill Road. Is the truth finally emerging? Brandis, Candace, and Don will have their reasons to cover up a lot of things if Jody Sue's and Hunter's versions are correct. They allowed a lot of underhanded things to go on at their property. That's reason enough to come together, make a script to cover their own asses.